Welcome to show 122 for February 3rd, 2010. I'm Dan Doherty, the host of this fantastic daily show here at edan.com. I'm also the CEO and founder of tiptopwebsite.com, where you can create your own website online in 60 seconds. Packages start only $1 a month. Use the promo code Dan, that's right. Use my name at sign up, D-A-N, and I'll give you free domain. Let's jump into the news here. Show me what's wrong.com. Very cool website uh, Brandon just found today. And what it is, you simply, if you have a problem with your computer and you're trying to explain it to someone. So let's say you have, you're not a computer expert, like most people in the world. But you have someone in your family that's a computer expert and they don't live near you and they can't see what you're doing. You can simply do a screen capture, right, and for free, and send them the video. Actually, it'll just send them. It'll send them the link. So you just do a screen. You just say, "Look at here's what I'm doing. I'm opening up Microsoft Word. You just push go, right? It'll just record as you're doing it and record your mouse movements, whatever you're typing. And you'll say, "This is what I'm doing. I'm opening up Microsoft Word, and I can't seem to get this font, or I can't save it, or I can't print it out. And everything you're clicking, and everything you're saying, you're talking. You're, you, most computers have a microphone built in, and every time you're moving your mouse, it's capturing that." Just like in our member section under video tutorials, I use a, a real high-end screen capture program. But it's the same thing as this. Uh, this is a free version. And then that video, when you're done, you say, send it to this person. So you send it to you know whoever's the expert in your family fixes computers. They can look at the video. They can see exactly what you were just doing. And then they call you on the phone and say, ah, oh, I see. You have to hit file print and you have to select a different printer. We see you have two different printers hooked up. So fantastic. I don't know how they're doing this for free. Show me what's wrong.com. Uh, it's done by, what is it? Screencast Omatic. Screencast O Matic. I always tell you, don't put dashes in your domain name, but I want to give a, a hello to these people. Looks cool. It looks like they have uh, ads all over for Camtasia Studios. That's the one I use. It's a high end uh, desktop software that you can do. But so I don't know, maybe they're trying to get people to buy the Camtasia, but I don't know why they would unless you really need something really high-end. This is fantastic. Let's take a look. Pro accounts. Um, no, nope, that's just giving a video. So this is fantastic. This is really, really neat. So if you have a problem and you can't explain it to someone, go to, let me get back to the name, showmewhatswrong.com. So I have nothing to do with this service. Just found it. Thought it was cool. It's a free service. I want to pass that info to you. All right. Websites. Flash. You're watching this right now. If you're watching this on my website, you're watching in Flash. If you're watching YouTube, watch it in Flash. Hulu, Flash. Uh, TV.com, Flash. Pretty much any video you see online right now is Flash. If you're watching this on your iPod or iTouch or iPhone, you're watching it in H.264. That's how I render. I render this video two separate ways. One for iTunes that does not support Flash. Apple does not support Flash. The iPad came out the other day. People are nuts. It doesn't support Flash. And Steve Jobs says, no, I will not support Flash. Um, iPhones, no Flash. The iTouch, no Flash. iPod, no Flash. And it's driving people crazy. It really is. They're saying, look, a Jobs, just put in Steve Jobs. Just, I mean, just cave in, put Flash on there. Everyone will be so much happier. And he said, no, HTML5 which is you're looking at websites right now, you're probably looking with the HTML4. If you have an older, older version, HTML3 version of the browser, if you don't understand, don't worry, it means nothing what, what version you have. If you're looking at the internet, it works for you, that's perfect. HTML5 is coming out and they're just gonna have, when, when you're watching this video online, I just have to add special players to make it work. It's not a big deal because I know how to do it, but for people who don't know how to do it, it's, it's a little tricky, okay? HTML5, you'll just be able to drop in any video file and it'll just, it'll just play, right? It'll just play. The, the video player will already be built into the browser. The pro and they're saying, look, this is going to take over the world and no longer support Flash. This is ridiculous. These notions come out all the time. QuickTime was supposed to do this. Didn't work. So I think this is nonsense. I'm looking at an article right here, Adobe that makes Flash. They think this is crazy. They think it's going to send the... The web back to the dark ages of video. And I have to agree with them because we talk to customers every day from around the world. So many people are not even using the latest Internet Explorer, the latest Firefox, or the latest Chrome. So if you have an old computer and you never updated it, your browser, well, there's no way you won't be able to get HTML5. And you know, if you're not one of those people that like to update your browser, even though it's free to update your browser, 
you're not going to get the HTML5. You're not going to be able to watch the video. So the people that don't put the video players in the web page, you're not going to be able to see. I think it's fantastic to put a Flash player in your site. Flash works fantastic. You can see high definition. It just simply works. It's come so far. I think it's great. And this is a push from Apple. And now YouTube said, you know, we'll give it a try. But trust me, YouTube will always have a version for the next 10, 20 years of Flash. I don't know about 20 years, but the next 10 years. They know people just don't update their browsers. I'm talking to you. You're a tech community out there. And really, if you understand how these players work, it's such a small percentage of you out there in the world that understand this. And people don't want to understand how it works. They just want to play video. And that's what HTML5 wants to do, but they're really going to alienate just a ton, a ton of people. So I think it's great HTML5 is coming out, but you know, to simply cut, say Flash no more, that, that's silly. And Adobe, who makes uh, Flash, you know, the company Macromedia, they just... Macromedia makes, uh, Adobe, if you go to macromedia.com, it's Adobe, and they make Dreamweaver and Flash and a whole bunch of other fantastic tools. been around since the Internet started. And they really control the Internet. 75 to 90% of all videos you see right now are Flash. The other ones you see are, you know, Windows Media Player or QuickTime. Just no one ever updated it. They didn't, you know, re-encode it to Flash. When you upload a video right now to YouTube or any service like that, it automatically gets encoded to Flash. And that's how it streams so easily. That's how it works so easily. And uh, this is what, I don't know. So they're going to come out HTML5, like I said, but Flash, don't worry about it. You don't have to change anything. It's still going to be around. So if you see HTML5, you heard it here first, you're just fine. If you're watching this video, you're just fine. I'll have two different versions of the video up when it comes out. And, uh, you know, smart companies like me will always have two different versions. I right now have two different versions. I have, the, like I said, the iTunes version the, uh, and the, the web version. Okay, and I'll have another version as soon as it comes out, the HTML5. But don't get crazy. So if you see this, you hear it, and you say, oh, I've got to get a new computer. I've got to get a new browser, this and that. Nonsense. This is just talk. I'm le reading this on TechCrunch, and they're always uh, way ahead of the game as far as rumors and stuff. So nothing you need to worry about. Enjoy the videos. All right? So that's the show. I'm always here to tell you what's going on and really give you the reality of it. Not the hype of it, the reality of it. And that's what I want to do for you. So calm down. Everything's cool. Don't worry about it. You can still see video. I know, um, you know, those little video files you send back and forth will always work. And be careful. Talking about video files, sending back and forth. Someone just sent me a video file. It's one of my neighbors. Very cool guy. Guy I trust, but I don't know where the video file came from. I certainly did not click on it. If he had sent me a link to a video online with a flash player, I would watch it because you can't get any viruses that way. But if something comes in your email a video file, an attachment, don't click on it, all right? Just don't. You just don't want viruses, all right? Even if it's someone you trust because you don't know where they got it from. That's the show. I will see you tomorrow. Use the promo code DAN at sign up when you get a website at tiptopwebsite.com, and I'll give you a free domain. Feel free to give that promo code out to your friends, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.